Plumley against Siakam. Backs in, double team. Top side, Jeremy. Here's the long gun. It goes. Jeremy Grant uses that dribble and drives and misses. Plumley with a rebound. For Lee for a corner three, and it's through. Wow. If he's going to come off the screen, he's looking to score like that. Can't afford to get under or get stuck on the screen. Sadiq Bay answers with a piston three. Joseph finds Jackson, and he triples. Shot clock at two for Sadiq, and he triples. But it rains, it pours. Stewart triples. And Anobi, but the shot clock's going to run out. Oh, no, it doesn't. He threw it up just in time and scored it off the square. Wayne Casey will sweep the Raptors this season. Pistons win it. What? The... The Detroit Pistons just beat the Toronto Raptors three times. The Detroit Pistons, with Sadiq Bey and Saban Lee, beat a Toronto Raptors team with Kyle Lowry, Fred Van Vliet, and Pascal Siakam. How? The Raptors have been bad this season. Every time the camera goes over to Nick Nurse, you see him slicking back his hair. And it's receding. At this rate, by the end of the season, he'll be bald. So I have the solutions to save the Raptors season and save Nick Nurse's hair. Welcome to Speedy Hoops. The Raptors are currently 18 and 29, which brings them to 11th in the Eastern Conference, right behind teams like the Bulls, Pacers, Heat, Celtics, Hawks, Knicks, and Hornets. All teams that they were better than last year. So what happened? The pandemic has been a big reason the Raptors have been losing the season. The Raptors started the year 2-8, and eight, mainly because Pascal Siakam was hugely affected by the virus, and he was not himself. Then, late in February, key players like Pascal Siakam, Fred Van Vliet, and OG Ananobi contracted the virus and had to sit out for 14 days. 14 days without three of your four best players. The Raptors struggled. Even though guys like Norman Powell, Kyle Lowry, and Chris Boucher came in the clutch while the others were gone, they still could not win a game with those three out. Since the All-Star break, the Raptors have only won one game, and they had to have their best franchise three-point shooting night ever to win a game against the Denver Nuggets. Another issue with the Raptors this season that I want to talk about is the bad three-point defense. If they want to win games, they have to start guarding the three better. Their closeouts aren't working and the Pistons expose that. As you can see, Sadiq Bey, Jeremy Grant, and even Corey Joseph making threes. The last issue I want to talk about is kind of two issues in one. The Raptors lost two great centers, well not great centers, but good centers who reduced quality minutes on their team in Serge Ibaka and Marc Gasol. And they replaced them with Aaron Baines and Alex Len. Alex Len was off the team in a matter of weeks. Aaron Baines though, oh don't get me started on Aaron Baines. Got to find a way to contain him. He's not the guy you're game planning for either. And that shot doesn't go. Look at again, Luce. Finds Bain. First bucket of the game on his third attempt. All three, three balls. And Aaron Baines doesn't get the roll. From a practice time standpoint, early in the season, you are going to look at a lot of different combinations because you don't have that practice time. Baines crap. All right, listen, Aaron. I'm not ready right now. I'm being guarded. Just bring the ball to the court. I'll meet you there. I believe in you. I. I got you. I got you, Kyle. I'm. I'm gonna just go up the court. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get there. Down the loose ball. You can see Colin is a wanted man out there. As soon as he comes.
comes, they attack him. They, they come, as soon as he comes, they attack him. No! Aaron Baines is trash. He is undoubtedly the worst starting center in the league. No debate. Our starting center is worse than our backup center. Our starting center cannot finish at the rim. The only reason we have Aaron Baines is to set screens. Most of the time, I'll see Aaron Baines on the court, and I'll be like, what is he doing? And our bad center affects our rebounding. Our rebounding has been the worst in the league this year so far because of Aaron Baines, and our guys just can't get rebounds. That, those two tying together with their bad center and a rebounding But the last thing the big one of the biggest things this season that's been holding us back our bench We have a bench Or we had a bench before the trade deadline. We had a bench of Terrence Davis Norm Powell uh, I'm pretty sure they were running DeAndre Bembry Stanley Johnson and like Chris Boucher and then they also had Paul Watson there they had who else, who knows Patrick McCaw guys like that this the only two competent players on that on that bench are Norman Powell and Chris Boucher everybody else you most likely have not heard of before or you forgot about because our bench is a lot worse than it was before but in general it's just been a bad year now I think the solution comes this offseason because at this point in the season you can't really make any changes to your roster if you're gonna make any changes at all this season then do better on printer defense maybe you get a better printer de defender in free agency and in the offseason, draft a better big or sign a better big. Draft somebody young, somebody who could help Van Vliet, Siakam, Boucher, and OG. And pretty much that's it. Just get a better big, get a better bench, use the draft, and trade Aaron Baines. And that is what's wrong with the Raptors.